Well hello and welcome back. I had a comment on the channel from a chap called Frank and he asked is it possible to add a brightness function to just a basic LED connected to any GPIO pin on ESP32? I tried it and failed. Well Frank it's, it's pretty straightforward. Yes it is possible um, and here it is. I connected an LED between uh, onto the pins of GPIO12 and ground on my uh, development board and now we're going to write the code and make that happen for you so let's get started we're going to base our code on the example that comes with ESP Rainmaker that's called Rainmaker Custom or Rmaker Custom it's in the examples start with that if you are going to follow along with me uh, otherwise I will leave a link in the description below for the code and you can download it from github so here we go the standard example and when we get to about line 9 we're going to add a little extra so we're going to define our PWM setup because the PWM is going to modulate the current to the LED and allow it to be dimmed so we're going to set a PWM channel of 0, a resolution of 8 bits, okay? That means that we're going to have a range on our slider of 0 to 255. And a frequency of 1 kilohertz, which is more than enough to be playing with an LED with. Now we need an integer to carry the parameter PWM duty cycle, which is what we're going to use as the main variable, <coughs> pardon me, as the main variable um, to feed to the ESP32. And we're going to set that at the default dimmer level, which we're set at 127, 50%, halfway along the range 0 to 255. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is slide on down to Setup. And here we're going to do our LED channel setup using these two lines here. Okay, and basically this just tells what the, says what the variables are uh, that we're going to be using for the channel and also which pin we're going to use and assign the channel to the pin and if we come back up to line 27 here this is where I define the GPIO dimmer as LE, as uh, pin 12 and pin 12 is the pin that I have my LED attached to on the board So back down to setup. That's all for the PWM, but I'm just going to run through the how we define a node in uh, Rainmaker. So we define the node. Let's call it my node, and we're going to make it define it as an ESP Rainmaker node, or give it that name. Then we're creating a custom dimmer device okay and they add name parameter and they've defined it as a power parameter and assigned a primary parameter as power our maker def power name is power and that's what you will see on the screen of the uh, of your phone and it'll be by default an on off switch the one that we're more interested in to allow us to modulate the level of the LED is our own custom parameter which is um, called level. So we're defining or declaring a parameter called level parameter uh, which we're going to call level parameter. The text we're going to use on the screen of the phone is level. It's going to be known internally in Rainmaker as custom param level 
it's going to have a default value of default dimmer level that's what we set up up there above as 127 and it's going to be a read and write parameter that will allow us to adjust the the value on our phone screen we're going to give it some limits though uh, we want the minimum value to be zero the maximum value be to 255 and to step in values of one you could make it five or ten or whatever you like really now to our parameter we're also going to now add a ui type i.e what's it going to look like on the screen and in this case we've chosen to make it a slider you could make it a text parameter where you type in the value you want but that would be not nearly so easy to do and now what we what we do is having defined all of these things we're going to add to our device a parameter called level param the one that we've just spent the last three lines defining and it's that straightforward that is basically the definition of the variable that you're going to drive with the slider on the screen okay now what are we going to do with it when it arrives it arrives in the callback function that we're going to go and have a look at and that's defined up here here we are here's the right callback uh, function what we need out of this is the device name and the parameter name so that we can identify that we're dealing with the right device and the right parameter the para power parameter really isn't a topic for this little tutorial and i haven't played with it however there is a challenge at the end of this once we uh, we get our slider working and that is for you to decide whether you want to use that uh, power parameter or not and then to code that there are a few challenges there and it will be quite interesting to see the solutions you come up with and perhaps you'd like to comment below as to how you solve that problem for us what we want to do is look at the code that is going to drive the led when we receive a change in the parameter level so this is the section of code here in line 60 um, we're printing this out just to make it easier for debugging and so you can see what's going on and we always uh, when in the callback when a parameter has been updated we'll update and report the value okay what do we do with our led it's very straightforward really our level parameter as we know sends us an integer level called val.val.i and all we're going to do is make our duty cycle on the pwm equal to val.val.i and then we're going to update the led channel and that's it it's finished all we need to do is compile that and upload it and you get the result um, you can see i've just set uh, 138 246 the camera doesn't show the dimming terribly well because there's too much light in here or not enough light one or the other but you can see that we're quite easily able to adjust the levels so there we are that completes another five minute rainmaker project if you uh, let me know how you get on in the comments below if you've learned something from this video please hit the like button because it really does help build the channel in the meantime thanks for watching and see you on the next one then I'd be more than welcome to help you uh, to I'd be more than then I'd be I'd be very I'd be very welcome to I'd be very happy to welcome you on board in the meantime 